Hey guys, we're going to look at the difference between uploading and downloading information. Let's have a look. Upload is going one way and download is going the other. One's going up, one's going down. Hence the colored arrows. Yes, I know. So let's see what upload actually is. Upload is taking stuff from your computer and putting it online. Uploading it to a server. So it could be files from your computer files and folders. It could be videos that you've made and uploading them to a YouTube server to share with other people. It could be multimedia files, data, anything that you've created that you're storing in the cloud. So if you've got Dropbox or OneDrive, Google Drive, iCloud, etc. It could be if you have a website of your own and you are uploading files and HTML pages from your computer to the web server. It could also be you uploading files to another computer somewhere else in the world. So you're sending files from your machine across the internet to someone else. You're uploading files. Okay, so that's sending of information. Let's have a look at download. Well, download is pretty much what we probably spend more time doing. So downloading requires a lot more speed because we're looking at Netflix, we're downloading music, we're downloading all kinds of applications, whether it's on our phones or our computers, we're downloading games or playing games online, or we're watching videos. So when you're taking information and data from web servers, down onto your computer, you're accessing information, you're downloading that, and that is why we need more speed to download. So when we look at uploading and downloading, this is the most important thing to remember. Uploading, okay, requires a lot less speed because we do less uploading than we do downloading. Downloading, on the other hand, requires more speed because we do more downloading than we do uploading. So when we're talking about speed, uploading is always a bit slower than downloading.